and welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you two new action figures from the DC multiverse yes so McFarlane toys these are by McFarlane toys so we want to say a great big thank you to McFarlane toys for sending these to us for free to share with you today and to add to our uh, McFarlane action figure collection so we have um, yeah, these are some of the newer um, Batman uh, lines came out. This is from Batman the Last, Last Night, Night on, on Earth. Earth. Oh, ha! That's funny. Um, and whoa, it's definitely got like a W on there. Is that for Wayne? Yeah, I think that's Wayne. Yeah. Wonder Woman, and she is. Oh, from the same thing. Yeah, Last yeah, Night on Earth. Fun. Okay. Yeah, this is a build a figure set where you actually build Bane. Whoa. So I think it will probably. Yeah. So you have. The Wonder Woman figure, and then you have the the Last Night on Earth Batman, the uh, Omega, and then the Scarecrow. Okay. Um, and the Scarecrow has the the um, torso, the main okay. piece, because he's there's not a whole lot to him. He's just like a upper torso himself. Uh huh. And then he kind of rides on Bane. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but That's this is different. like a um, definitely different for like a alternate. It's like a futuristic like dystopian uh -huh. like storyline it's like 20 years in the future oh okay yeah because wonder woman does not have that haircut right now no <laughs> all right so um looks like they're both gonna come with some oh what is that in there that's joker joker oh! just his head yeah oh creepy <laughs> all right so um looks like and they're both gonna come with let's see i want to show you the back they're both going to come with their artwork card which is on the back as well let's see if she did you show off wonder woman's i don't think so yeah so there's the artwork and it's going to come um as a card um and the back as well to collect so we're going to go ahead and get them out of their packaging so we can give you a much closer look at um the figures and all of their awesome accessories we'll be right back okay and we're back so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Wonder Woman first. Okay. From this um, alternate universe timeline. Um, there she is. Let's take a closer look. So she's got like a five o'clock shadow on her <laughs> head um, because she has this mohawk, which is going down the back here. Uh, oh, yeah, it looks like, well, yeah, it looks like it's like wound up. So I kind of think it ends about right there. Doesn't go all the way down her back. And it's kind of like right back there. But um, I think it's like, uh, I think it's like it's the bottom of it is wrapped back up here. Oh, uh-huh. But anyway, so there's her facial sculpt. She has a very narrow face. Um, and maybe it's just the how the mohawk makes her look. But she looks like she has serious business mm -hmm. to attend to. She also has um, her cape that has the, it's tattered here. It has some battle damage. Yeah. And well, then, you don't normally see her with a cape either. But. Oh, that's true. Sometimes, though. I thought yeah. it was sometimes. Um, I think they're trying to give her more, um, more of like a warrior's right look. Well, they um, they also come with these stands. They say DC, and they have the little peg to peg into the bottom of the holes on her feet. Um, so she has the cool um, skirt, and she's got the stars on the bottom of her skirt. She's got the red at her top. She's got these cool red boots. Whoa, look at those boots! And I like to call them shin guards, but I think yeah. it's an extension of the boot. She's got like knee. Um, what do you call them? Like knee guards? <laughs> yeah. And knee protection, they anyway. Look, they look like they would hurt if you got knee with them, too. Yes, for sure. Um, and I think it's kind of cool because, I mean, it's, I guess it's like a diamond shape, but it's kind of like a squished up Superman yeah. shape to me. Yeah. Um, and then she has a little detailed band around her thigh. Um, she has silver plates for her right here um, for her... What am I saying? Forearms? Yeah, it's like her, um, it's almost like her, uh... Bracelets? Yeah, like bracelets, but they're yeah. bigger and... And then she's got her sword, which fits right in here. And, uh, she does have an open hand, so I think she, you know, you can put that in there. But I think it's also awesome that they give you something so she can actually carry it with her. Because she's a woman on the go. There you have it. So there's Wonder Woman. Okay, so now it's time to show off Wonder Woman's articulation. Okay, let's see. So, let's see. So, we have the ankle. So, it will twist and pivot. You have the toe. 
the double knee. The, I don't know, she looks like he broke her ankle here. <laughs> the, um, the hips, the like waist. Uh, waist, and I can't tell if... I think she has the same as his. Yeah, it's like like the mid torso yeah. is the, um, but it actually does that's give something. you good, oh, yeah. good range of motion, yep. so that's really that's awesome. Um, you have the double shoulder, if you can see underneath the cape, the, uh -huh. the second part of articulation. Um, the double elbow and the double wrist with the twist and pivot. Okay, so actually she does, it's kind of hard to tell because they've hidden it in the arm, in the arm band. If you can see, oh, she yeah. does have the, the mid, uh, the, or the bicep swivel as well. And then of course the neck. Of course she got flat, yeah. And yeah, she can, other than the ponytail, that's the only thing that would um, limit her range of motion. But yeah, so she can look down to the side and everything, so. Very cool. Um, also, she came with her card, and here's a little bit of her backstory and her um, data file. And um, did she come with this one? She came with the two arms. Oh, both of them. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And he came with the two hands. But I'm going to go ahead and show them off right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then, so there you have the hands. Whoa, massive, and he's got, like, um, brass knuckles. <laughs> yeah. He's got something right there. It almost looks like it shoots something out of there. <laughs> it does. But, um, and then I like this detail, how they have the green um, pumping into his veins. Yeah, like the venom. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, and uh, anyway, so he's got, uh, you know, some articulation over there, the wrist and the elbow, and up here when you attach him to the rest of the figure. This um, side is a, doesn't have that um, piece, so it's pretty much the same, but it doesn't have the venom going in. So there you have that. Um... And then let's show off Batman. Well, let's go ahead and show off his accessories first. Here's his awesome card. Um, he's got like a jackal, I mean, the Joker Lantern. Yeah. A Joker Lantern uh, <laughs> <laughs> head um, thing. I hope he's not using that to light his way because I don't know, maybe so. And there's the data file on him and the story if you want to look at that. Um, he also comes with the. Um, like you said, like a luchador. Yeah, type yeah, style. Bane's head. But yeah, normally his his um, the white part on the mask looks more like a regular. Like oh, a so luchador. that's not for him. That's for yeah. Yeah, that's, that's for Bane. Yeah, that's for Bane. Yeah, so that um, goes with the arms. But they've also made it look like the like a Batman. Yeah, symbol. that's cool. That's interesting. I like that. Um, and then there's his um, baton. And it's like a um, bobby stick. Yeah. Already, yeah. And the funny thing is, it looks like like the old style. Yeah. Least, you know, yeah, nowadays it's like, you know, like a long and it's got like the little piece that sticks right. off the side. This looks like an this old version. This definitely reminds me of a, a stuffed animal I had that was like a Bobby police officer mouse. Yeah. Called a Bobby mouse or whatever. Anyway, so there you have it. Look at the detail. Whoa, those eyes are creeping me out. So it's, I love the, the how they put this fog around it. You know, it's like, um, kind of like trans, translucent around yeah. there. Like it's clear and then it has... Um, that glowing effect, I think they did a great job. Um, he's got the green hair and he's smiling. That's really disturbing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and cool at the same time. <laughs> um, so um, I, he has the open hand, so I think he can um, hang on to that as well. And now it's time to take a look at Batman. There he is. Okay, there's a there's his uh, like uniform or whatever. It's almost like we were discussing, almost like a straight jacket. Yeah. Because he does have a strap that goes um, between his legs and connects on the other side, as well as he has all of these straps that um, are flowing down like a cape, which is kind of interesting. I like that look. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting how they like took the the idea of like an insane asylum uniform. Uh -huh. I guess I don't know what you call it. Um, and like customized it to look resemble you know like resemble Batman's right. And he's um, got the buckles beautiful. on there. Um, so I don't know if he has he broke free or what. But uh, and I'm kind of liking the I like the W on here and the fact that it's like almost like bat ears sticking off yeah. up there um, for Wayne. He is very cool. All right, so you want to show off his articulation? Okay. And I just noticed um, it looks like. 
he has a little. Oh, does he have a spot for his too? Spot yeah. Spot too for like you can see. Yeah, right there. Like yeah. a little loop to put the Billy Club. That's in. cool. Okay, so let's see what he's got here. Billy Club, Bobby, Bobby. It's the the police officers in <laughs> in the UK are called Bobby. Bobbies. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so you got the ankle, and it does um, pivot and twist. You have the toe articulation. If you can see, it's kind of blending in with stuff. You have the uh, double knee. You have the um, hips. You have like the waist pivot, and wow, it, it will he does really well for that. Um, you know, go side to side. Yeah. He can like arch back some and arch forward a little. He has the double um, shoulder. shoulder, the bicep pivot. Okay, then you have the, if I can get him around here. Double elbow. Double elbow. Um, and I don't know what the official name is, but this is almost like the double wrist because it, it pivots as well as um, twists. Rotates. yeah. And then you have the Ooh. neck. And this piece is, I don't know if you can tell, Pretty pliable. It's soft, so that way you know it. Yeah, it he has quite gives a him bit some of good. Within um, that. Gives him some room to to move. Yeah, that's so. that's pretty impressive. Very cool. Very cool. This is definitely not your normal um, Batman figure, but he is, cool he does variation. still look really cool. All right, so there you have it, Wonder Woman and Batman from the Last Night on Earth. We want to say another great big thank you to McFarland Toys for sending these to us for free to share with you today. It sure has been fun checking these guys out, especially when it's like just a little bit different, well, quite a bit different yeah, variation a, yeah, from figures we are used to seeing. Um, I, I'm loving that uh, Joker Lantern. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.